Today, I want to talk about why I believe that discipline and willpower are bullshit. But before we get into that, let's just quickly um, discuss why I'm talking about this and how this can be helpful to you. So I would find that um, with goals, I'm like a lot of people. Um, you know how people set like New Year's resolutions? They might be really strong on them the first two weeks of January or even for all of January. But by the middle of February or the end of March, you know, people fizzled out. And I'm one of those people. It's hard for me to uh, set up habits and goals and routines and stick to them. And basically what I found that was happening was like I would have like an idea. I would do really good for a week or two or a month or two or even three months. And then I would turn around and I would realize that maybe I read a book or saw something on YouTube. And that kind of like derailed my plan a little bit. And I did it without really realizing what was happening. So I think it's super important to always know what you're doing with your day. You know, I watch a lot of Gary Vee. One of the first questions he asks is, what are you doing with your 24 hours in a day? So I want to quickly go over uh, what my life looks like as a freelance web dev. And um, yeah, kind of show you how you can inventory your day and really get a good look at what the fuck is going on and what you're doing. Now, you may notice some holes in my, my little routine down here. You may notice some gaps. And that's because I'm prone to get distracted and do other shit. So this this is a video that's really about time blocking. Um, and if you don't know about time blocking, I suggest you really look into that. But let's get into what my day looks like. All right, so I wake up at 6.30. I'm in bed by 10.45 p.m. Uh, most nights. Um, and notice that this is a weekday schedule. So I like to jam pack as much as I can into the weekdays. And kind of either relax or shift gears on the weekends and just do other shit. Because it gets, it gets boring if you were thinking about life like this every single day. But this is what I got. Wake up at 6.30. Um, start working out. I should, instead of at, I really should say by. By 7.15. Sometimes this is 7.20. Sometimes this is 7.30 like it was today. Walk and jog. That takes about 45 minutes. Five minute drive there and back. So basically an hour gone. Um, when I'm hopping out the shower, it's normally about like 9.30, I might grab a coffee, and I'm starting the work day at 10. And my work day is weird because I break it into very, very short chunks. So, for my first chunk of the day, I'm only working two hours, and then I'm eating lunch. And you might ask, you know, why would you do this with your freelance schedule? And the reason is, I've watched lots of YouTube videos from software developers, and their day almost always starts with a two to three hour block. Um, and, and to be honest, most people are not working six hours or eight hours straight in a day. If you're getting your two to three hours in, you need gaps, you need breaks in between, you need distractions in between, just so you can stay focused, because, you know, that's, that's just not how it works. But, uh, have lunch for an hour, back from one to four, a smoke break, from four to six um and then i get back into some deeper evening work uh from six to nine so if you look at this i'm working two hours here uh i get another three hours later and then i get another three hours later so this is an eight hour work day but this is what your work day could look like if you're unemployed or just really broke you don't have a job right now you know what i'm saying you can you can you could work out a schedule that is similar to this and i really like these two to three hour blocks as you can see, three hours is about the cap for me. After three hours, I need at least like a break break. You know what I'm saying? Like I need to distract myself or something. Um, but this is only Tuesdays and Thursdays. So let's take a look at what Monday, Wednesday, Friday looks like. So same thing. Still waking up at the same time. Still starting the working out um, around the same time. Still jog. I still have this hour because this, this hour is really my time. Um, maybe I'm having a bad day. Maybe everything that I've done up until this point has been late. Maybe I woke up at seven, so I didn't get started working out until way later. I didn't get to jog until way later, but I can still make this 10 a.m. deadline. There's a lot of room to fuck up and, and, you know, be bored and accidentally watch like eight, you know, kitchen nightmares or hotel hell videos in the, in the middle of all of this, in the midst of all this. And this is really important because you need to give yourself time to fail every single day. You're going to fuck up every single day. It's, it, you're, you know, the days that will be perfect and go 
according to the schedule perfectly are far and few between. You know what I mean? They say like, you know, what's the saying? Like no no uh plan survives, but having a plan is indispensable. Like this is what this is. This is really, you know, the habits and routines and the modes that you can get into throughout the day. And what you'll find is that you'll have a flow. You know what I mean? So on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I actually have a part-time job. I'm a learning assistant. I basically help boot camp students with issues they run into um, while they're completing homework or group projects. So I do that for eight hours straight from 1 to 9 p.m. I know that kind of goes against, you know, the philosophy that I have going Tuesday, Thursday. But this is the schedule that I work. The job is great. It's really not um, too demanding. So to be, you know banging at that for eight hours straight it, it doesn't feel as intense as it might and most of you work eight to ten hours or 12 hours a day anyway so i don't know i probably sound a bit crazy even spend so much time talking about that um now at the end of the day when i'm off because i've had like such limited time to do my own thing right i've only had from 10 to 12 and 9 to 10 so you can see um in normal everyday life this is how people lose time, right? Because let's say I work from one to nine, right? And as soon as I get off work, I just start browsing and surfing YouTube and watching shit on YouTube. Now I've burned that hour. Um, what's also important is that you, you stop and you get ready for the next day. So what that looks like for me is like making sure shit is clean, making sure that my desk isn't a mess, um, setting clothes out so that when I wake up in the morning to to start working out, I can just throw on clothes, make coffee, and dive right into working out. There's not a lot of obstacles. So at 10, I want to start making tomorrow easier. And I want to follow through with this and be consistent with, you know, really taking the last 30 to 45 minutes of my day before I go to bed to get ready for the next day. If you want to read or play video games for an hour, two hours, three hours. You need to do those things before you get ready for bed. You need to really have like a separate time to just prepare for the next day. So those are the reasons that I think that, um, you know, discipline and willpower are bullshit because I don't actually know how any of this is going to go, right? It, it, I could easily have a shit day, a shit morning, and bam, this is all I got done. You know what I mean? That that happened to me this Tuesday, this week. All I got done was working and jogging out. You know, working out and jogging. This part, you know, I was like just having a really rough day. It was just moving really slowly with everything that day. So, you know, I didn't do anything before I actually worked this day. And then when I got off, um, I had kind of recovered while I was working throughout the day and kind of got like more energized, more uplifted. As things went on so i did spend my last you know hour the one work hour that i have on monday wednesdays and fridays like looking at some shit to redesign my portfolio but like i said you're gonna you're gonna fuck these things up you're gonna fail you're gonna find that some days will not flow like this at all like what if i have to leave out to go and get groceries you know what i'm saying suddenly <laughs> everything changes you know what i'm saying what if someone what if i can't have a smoke break someday because someone needs me to visit them or i'm going to hang out with a friend or something you know later that evening you know what i'm saying what if there's an event or a meetup that i want to go to you know these things are going to change drastically but what you have to realize is you lose track of time if you don't know um what you've allocated your time towards i know that i'm free on Tuesday and Thursday evenings from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. So I can agree to stuff, I can schedule calls, I can, you know, do work during those times. Um, but I feel like I'm beating a dead horse at this point. So if you have any questions or uh, you have a different way of planning your day, I would love to hear about that. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, I think, um, you know, I just want to say, you know, fuck motivation, fuck discipline, fuck willpower, fuck inspiration, fuck all of those things. Those are all great drugs to take when they're available, but <laughs> on a day-to-day -day basis, 
you won't have those things at your disposal. You won't be inspired. You won't be motivated. You won't have willpower. You won't have discipline. All you'll know is that from 9 to 10 p.m., this is the time that I'm going to give myself to grab coffee and plan my day and imagine what my day looks like. You know what I mean? So, as you can see, I'm recording this video at 10.35 a.m. I do have other shit to do, but this is technically a part of my work day. So, I'm recording this video right now. Um, but yeah, you know, when you depend on motivation and discipline and, and willpower, it's like fucking driving drunk because <laughs> inspiration and motivation and willpower could convince you to do some crazy shit like start Forex trading and put $500 into the fucking stock market or put a thousand dollars in the penny stocks or pay 1500 to go to a fucking real estate trading class because you saw an ad on Facebook or YouTube or some stupid shit like that when you really wanted to be like a fucking baker or a psychologist or a developer or something. You know what I mean? Everything sounds like a good idea when you don't have a plan and inspiration and motivation are like drugs. They will, they're like gateway drugs into doing shit that you didn't actually plan to do. So you're just going to start going with the flow and it's always a bad deal. It's always a bad deal to go with the flow and just live solely off of motivation and inspiration. I hope this video has helped. Um, if not, I'd love to know why. Um, yeah, and I hope that uh, everyone learned something from this video. This is not easy to execute on, you know, in the beginning, but give it a shot. I'd love to see some, some drafts or rough drafts of, of what your days look like.